Welcome to our channel. In this video, we're journeying into the fascinating world of blood, life's vital fluid. We'll be exploring its intricate composition, its diverse functions, its classification, and its compatibility, all while highlighting its indispensable role in maintaining human health. Thanks for joining us on this journey. And remember to stay tuned for the entire video to uncover all the insights. In this video, we delve into the fundamental aspects of blood, including its composition, functionality, classification, and compatibility. Let's start with the first part blood composition and functions. The human body, a marvel of biological engineering, contains approximately 4.5 to 6 liters of blood. This volume is subject to fluctuations influenced by factors such as age, sex, weight, and overall health. Blood, a complex and vital fluid, makes up about 7 to 8 percent of human body weight. It serves as a crucial transporter, carrying gases such as oxygen and carbon dioxide, essential nutrients, and hormones. Additionally, it aids in maintaining acid-base homeostasis. It comprises red blood cells for oxygen transport, white blood cells for immune defense, platelets for clotting, and plasma for nutrient transport and maintaining fluid balance. Red blood cells, making up about 45% of the total blood volume, are the body's primary means of oxygen transport. They contain hemoglobin, which gives blood its characteristic red color and is essential for carrying oxygen to cells throughout the body. White blood cells serve as the immune system soldiers, actively fighting off infections and diseases to keep the body healthy. Platelets play a critical role in blood clotting, a process that prevents excessive bleeding during injuries. Furthermore, plasma, the liquid component of blood, transports cells, nutrients, hormones, and waste products, thereby maintaining the body's overall balance. Together, these integral components synergistically play a crucial role in transporting nutrients, oxygen, and immune defenses, thereby ensuring the proper functioning and health of the human body. Now, let's explore blood classification. Blood is classified into groups determined by the presence or absence of specific antigens on the surface of red blood cells. These antigens can be proteins, carbohydrates, glycoproteins, or glycolipids, depending on the blood group system. The ABO system classifies blood into types A, B, AB, and O, based on A and B antigens present on the surface of red blood cells. Type A has A antigens, type B has B antigens, type AB has both, and type O has neither. The rhesus factor, also known as the Rh factor, is a protein on the surface of red blood cells. It functions as an antigen and contributes to the positive or negative designation of the blood type in conjunction with the ABO system. The most significant Rh antigen is the D antigen, often referred to as Rh, D. Additionally, the Rh factor plays a crucial role in pregnancy. Combining the ABO and RH systems, usually RHD, results in eight blood groups or types. If the RH factor is present, the blood type is RH positive, resulting in A positive, B positive, AB positive, or O positive. Conversely, if the RH factor is absent, the blood type is RH negative, resulting in A negative, B negative, AB negative, or O negative. This classification, crucial for medical procedures like blood transfusions and organ transplants, where matching blood types is vital, ensures compatibility and prevents adverse reactions. Now, let's move on to the red blood compatibility test. The purpose of blood compatibility testing is to match the donor's blood type with the recipient's blood type to minimize the risk of adverse reactions during transfusion. Blood compatibility testing involves both laboratory tests to determine blood type based on specific antigen-antibody reactions and a cross-matching process that includes mixing the donor's and recipient's blood samples to ensure compatibility. The table provides a comprehensive guide to the properties and compatibility of various blood types A, B, A, B, and O. For individuals with blood group A, the A antigen is present on their red blood cells, RBCs, and their blood serum contains antibodies against the B antigen. 
As a result, individuals with blood group A can receive blood solely from individuals of groups A or O with A being the preferred option and can donate blood to individuals with type A or AB. Similarly, individuals with blood group B have the B antigen on their RBCs and blood serum containing antibodies against the A antigen. This means that those with blood group B can receive blood only from individuals of groups B or O with B being the preferable choice and can donate blood to individuals with type B or AB. Individuals with blood type AB possess both A and B antigens on their RBCs with their blood serum lacking antibodies against either A or B antigens. Consequently, those with blood type AB can receive blood from any group with AB being the preferred choice but cannot donate to any group other than AB. Lastly, individuals with blood group O lack both A and B antigens on their RBCs and their blood serum contains anti-A and anti-B antibodies. Consequently, those with blood group O can receive blood solely from individuals of group O but can donate blood to individuals of any ABO blood group A, B, O, or AB. O negative individuals are often referred to as universal donors because their blood type lacks both A and B antigens, as well as the RHD antigen, making it compatible with nearly any recipient's blood type. On the other hand, AB positive individuals are often called universal recipients because they have both A and B antigens on their red blood cells, making them capable of receiving blood from donors with any ABO blood type. Cross-matching is a test performed before a blood transfusion as part of blood compatibility testing. There are two types of cross-matching tests. The major cross-match test checks if the recipient has any antibodies that might resist the donor's blood cells. It involves testing the recipient's serum with donor's red cells. This test is crucial as it can prevent a hemolytic transfusion reaction or decrease cell survival of donor red blood cells. The minor cross-match test involves testing the donor serum with the recipient's red blood cells. It helps detect antibodies that the donor may have that could work against the recipient's antigens. These tests are essential to ensure the compatibility of the blood between the donor and the recipient and to prevent any adverse reactions during the transfusion. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video exploring the vital role of blood in sustaining life. For more related content, feel free to explore our channel for science-related videos and other content on diverse topics. If you enjoyed this video, Please support us by sharing, subscribing, ringing the bell, and giving us a thumbs up. Thanks again!